What if King Kong existed? Forget the movie monster. On the left, we have the fantasy, the 12-meter beast ripped from Hollywood. On the right, we have the terrifying reality, the colossal ape that actually walked the earth. This jaw is from Gigantopithecus Blackie, a 1,000-pound primate that vanished 100,000 years ago. What if it hadn't? What if a King Kong-sized beast had to survive in the brutal late Pleistocene? The ecological reality is more murderous than any myth. Forget swinging from skyscrapers. A 12-meter ape in the late Pleistocene isn't a climber. It's a walking, ecological siege engine. The real Gigantopithecus was a slow, bamboo-eating behemoth. But a Kong-sized primate, requiring over 100,000 calories a day, must become a hyper-omnivore. It wouldn't hunt. It would steal and terrify. While other great apes focused on fruit, this giant would compete directly with five colossal neighbors. He'd strip the low-hanging fruit and nuts of the woolly mammoth's range. He'd steal the kills of the cave hyena. He'd be in constant, deadly confrontation with the armored bulk of the woolly rhinoceros and the unpredictable rage of the giant short-faced bear. So, if it could terrorize five mega-beasts, what was the ultimate threat? A creature that size simply couldn't find enough to eat to keep its molars from grinding down to nothing. The real reason Gigantopithecus died out is the mirror image of a crisis facing us today, and the ultimate answer is locked inside its teeth.